that. And when I say this, uh, I'm of course alluding, first of all, to the continuing evolution of the virus. And it's all so tricky. It's all so tricky because, and that is the difficult thing, that is my frustration, that there are so very, there's only very few signs that allow us uh, to, to tell lay people, look, this looks not good, this, this is dangerous, for example, because right now people are still pretty well protected against severe disease, right? And, uh, and hospitalizations, etc. Yes, and, and of course there are hospitalizations and they increase, but guess what? Most of, many of these hospitalizations are still not due to uh, COVID-19, so to say, in this, uh, you know, elderly people or, or, or people with a weaker Im uh, immune system. That is one thing. On the second hand, you know, we have uh, also more and more children that are now hospitalized and they are hospitalized to some extent because of COVID-19. And that is due to the high infectious pressure. You know, I've explained this uh, one day, but people say, oh, wow, they, 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 they are getting COVID, we need to vaccinate them. See, it's, 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 but what is it? It's, it's just escalating. The virus is evolving towards a form, you know, of the virus that is more virulent. You know, it, that is so obvious. I wrote 45 pages on this. I'm still continuing, but I tell in very simple terms, people will be able to follow this. What happened first? First, we the, the virus became more infectious, right? Alpha, beta, gamma, delta. The virus became more infectious, but thanks to the neutralizing antibodies, we were still protected against disease, okay? Everybody agrees. What happened then? Then all of a sudden, the virus became more and more resistant to these neutralizing antibodies. What happened? The vaccinees, they became more and more susceptible to infection. What happened then? Omicron came. BA4, BA5, scientists found that the virus became more virulent when they tested it in the lab, in a sense that it induced new, more of this, uh, you know, fusion between, uh, between the epithelial cells. That is a sign of virulence, you know, that they tested in vitro. The next thing will be that you will have resistance against the antibodies that for now, just for now, neutralize the virulence of the virus. And these antibodies that neutralize the virulence of the virus are exactly the same antibodies that enhance the infection of the virus at the upper respiratory tract. So those infection enhancing antibodies are those that prevent fusion and you know, formation of syncytia in the distant organs, so in the lower respiratory tract. So in other words, we, when, the, when, the immune, when the virus will become resistant, just like it has done with the neutralizing antibodies, the infection neutralizing antibodies, when it will now become resistant to the virulence neutralizing antibodies, I mean, then that, that is hell and it will happen because it's just also about immune pressure of antibodies that is suboptimal and that is continuously and more and more exerted on the life cycle of the virus, right? But people can't see these people say, well, what are you talking about? I mean, we're just doing fine and uh, look at, you know, hospitals, et cetera. But, but see, the children, they get, a, they, they get a disease. We should vaccinate them. And by the way, you know, these people that get to the hospital, yeah, of course they get a number of diseases, but you know, it's not COVID, right? So it's all against, against, you know, us, uh, well, against us, against, uh, it's, 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 it's very embarrassing that the uh, external signs of these uh, evolutionary dynamics are um, difficult to understand, even by experts, let alone by politicians and, and also for laymen, very, very difficult uh, to, to understand. And that is why uh, we are making the wrong decisions that have really very, very detrimental consequences. I just told you about, about the children, right? But uh, there is uh, so many, so many of these decisions that are um, pretty irreversible, as I'm always saying, if you prime uh, your immune system, you, you cannot deprime. 
And uh, that, that makes me really extremely worried and sad. So uh, I'm way, you know, my predictions were, were kind of like terrifying, right? And I missed it to some extent in the sense that I thought it would all happen at the same time. The virus does it in two stages. I just explained you. It becomes more infectious. Then uh, the vaccines become more susceptible to infection. Then it becomes more virulent. And then ultimately the, vac the vaccines are uh, going to become more susceptible, so to say, to the virulence. So that I didn't know. But uh, the end station that I imagined, what I know right now and the connection with other pandemics that are about to start or already ongoing, it's just making my predictions uh, even even worse, even worse. So we have 